so this is like a diary to me while I'm enjoying nature. Um, this is vlog 13. 13. Me three. I, I came across people that would try to help me. I might already hate that shit. Where they, they would really like me. I don't really like when someone's like, okay, it's cool for them to like you. But then once they like you, they want you to like them. Like, I don't think that's how it works. And um, I feel like people be trying to, like, let you sleep on the couch. But, you know, try to make it seem like if you become my girlfriend or my boyfriend, I'll help you here and there. And, and they want access to you. And this is why I'm celibate. Because I, I feel like I realize how sacred my sacral chakra is because even some girls the spiritual girlies know they had to do core cuttings or um just heal with reiki healing and um it's just really weird when your life was good and then when you sleep with this person it start going to chaos and shit and there's some people that you know and finding out that i'm an empath too Having that be explained with the Libra I was dealing with. Even my friend Leo didn't like Lilo did not like that. She said it in a re reading, right? I don't know her personally, but I feel like she was talking to me as a friend. Like she don't like when people be using their mental health for you to like. I dealt with that with a sibling too. Like it don't matter how much you give to them. It don't matter if you got this person a PlayStation Five, gave them three hundred dollars, which I did. Gave that Libra three hundred dollars, and like this person would even ask why I don't ask for help or stuff because it's like. You know, I know you don't have it, and I feel like I'm not, I don't know, like, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm working on things, guys. I'm learning as a giver, like, I deserve to be taken care of, too, but I came across people that will try to take care of me, and they want something in return, like an IOU, like, you know, like, they feel entitled to my body, and then they'll say, like, oh, you, you're safe with me, or... Just do things that make you feel uncomfortable. And then you wonder why women would choose to bear. Then I was telling my friend, this Aquarius, that I had the block. He was cool. He helped me out. But I just, I don't know. I just felt like he couldn't really help me. I wanted to rent a room there. Didn't want to, you know, say he liked me. And I was like, you know, I would like a boyfriend contract because I, I get tired of being in relationships where I'm not being compromised. And it'll, be, it'll say what I want and what you want. Get it notarized and stamped by a lawyer. Because sometimes, do you ever feel like y'all be in a relationship and it wastes your time and it's time that can't, you can't get back? Kind of on my Lori Harvey. And then people will hate you for that, like... You want to be compromised? Yeah. What do you think a prenup for? You know? There's some people who are putting a prenup. If they was to get a divorce and they man cheat or whatever, they have to pay this and that. Some people call it alimony, whatever. But I remember I was telling my friend, the Aquarius, like, I walked eight miles. I was somewhere in Florida, 16, virgin. I don't know what was with my mom. She she just died wanting to be grown or move fast. She just assumed. She just believed someone else's story besides mine. Because I've been replaying what been happening since my birthday, if you know and, and you know. It's like I was recording for my safety. Like, there was a time where, imagine a human knee, right? And it's an adult, a grown adult. And you're 16. You're like 99 pounds, size zero, size one. And it's right here. And they're counting the seconds. Then on top of that, everybody's argumentative. Took my phone, my wallet, and I had to walk. Even a good friend of mine, I don't know where she at to this day. She's cool. Tiff, she's really cool. Um, but she was like, my mom's crazy. And I used to look at it like, I think I was so traumatized and dissociating. Because there's sometimes where we'll think the shit we went through in our childhood, our parents beating us, neglecting us, or whatever. Like, they almost made me feel like you can't be happy every day. 
Like somebody's gonna start drama. Somebody's gonna. There's gonna have to be some pain when it comes to love, and that's just unhealthy. Me walking them eight miles. I kid you not. What I learned. My friend Valley, an old roommate of mine, could have said I could have got kidnapped. All the above. And I think I didn't get touched. My back was all fucked up. Two black eyes. And then my ex, the Pisces, when I got to the door, his mom didn't want to help me. She just felt so bad. I was going through that. He was right behind her. That's what he said. And I was like, I remember that day. And it, he almost tried to gaslight me. Like, I don't remember. And that's another thing where I just stay away from people. Like, stay away from people where you know exactly what happened and they're gaslighting you. They're gaslighting you. Luckily, the Chipotle manager lived not too far from him. And I went to his house and he seen it. His sisters, his bros, like, oh my God. I remember just hiding for three days. I had to drop out of school a week later. Going to school, siblings harassing me while I'm blocking my car in. I had a 1996 Ford Taurus. Really thank God my grandma helped me with that. Even though it was like my first car, I felt lucky. I used to always say that. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky since 12. And I realized how powerful words are. And um, I think it's so traumatic because I used to feel like if I had money, I could be enough or people would love me. That's what's like. I'm saying this for myself, like, you know. And, you know, even my friend, he'll be like, don't feel like that. I just felt like I hold no value if I don't have my own motion. And I realize how unhealthy that is even in relationships. Because somebody will see that you're providing everything you want for yourself, hair and nails. And then the person is probably only offering intimacy and conversation. And I realize a relationship is more than that. Like quality time, talking, dating. You know, even this girl I admire because if y'all know these couples, they're like an influencer with the two Doberman dogs. She also just got a perfume and put it in Ulta. Um, he, her boyfriend would always say like dating, you're dating your person every day. Love is like almost like work, but if, if, if it's with the right person, it wouldn't feel like work. I miss prom. I miss graduating off the stage. Like, y'all don't think I'm crazy, but I don't think y'all will. Like, I felt like there was parents. Even some people said, like, their parents would project this narrative that their kids would be fast or get pregnant like them. And they already knew they was financially struggling, so why would they want to bring a kid into this world? And it's even sad. Like, I know people who did brought a kid, and then their parents kicked them out while pregnant made them super depressed like one thing i like about mckinley walker she was open of what she was going through of the traumatic experience and to survive all that is such a it's such a gift because i i watch her she makes mom life so simple and easy and kind and carrot charismatic and the, the love that she get like everybody wants to see a happy relationship happy ending because people deserve that. And when you're around people that don't have happy ending, been divorced, been in toxic homes, I just don't understand how these parents have been in toxic home and you're doing the same thing to your kids. Because I wouldn't dare do that to my kids. And God bless me to have two beautiful kids, a boy and a girl. Like, I just couldn't. I really couldn't. I even want to adopt but it's like because like sometimes there's some people and i know my support is gonna be like hell no people want me to go back go back for what you know I me mean? distractions i was getting like somebody was talking ish like i felt bad like and then i found a true meaning of Valentine's day so i don't even celebrate that shit because the true meaning is like they celebrate um erotic and he's uh uh I have a cold clip on it. Oh, another butterfly. <gasps> wow. And he's green and yellow and black. Wow. Because that's what's painful. 
people call me Cinderella, maid. I mean, they doing everything in the book to break my spirit. And I believe what Kevin Hart said, like, good spirit, people can't be broken. But it does suck. Sometimes as a healer, you be looking at shit, you be like, damn, what the fuck? Because sometimes I be looking like, why do people attack people so bad? It's because they, they know you're going to be successful. Like, you don't even understand, y'all. Like, I had this dude, he was saying he going to be a provider, da-da-da-da. Just for him to leave me alone because I was single. I was like, no, I had found someone that was a provider lying, okay? Like, that's going to take care of me because that's how the guy was coming off in the beginning. In the beginning. And it got him off my case. Like, people would get really mad, like Mara will say. And he's a Scorpio where um, I got to just keep your provider man, your man, because you don't know how your friends are going to be. You think your friend, I'm like, my friends wouldn't do that or stuff like that. And he just look at me like, you don't know. But I understand what he was saying because I had a Capricorn. And he will always... always provide and stuff and um one time this girl her man supposedly make more money than my guy and my guy has a nine to five job he has the her boyfriend had a hookah lounge and all this stuff and then i'm like why are you getting mad and your man always send you money and you know i kind of knew that wasn't really her man it was like a sugar daddy type whatever trick i guess they sleep with each other and he pay her bills whatever fuck shit got got going on and um it was just over some flowers because i love these lex and rose flowers yeah they cost it 200 but i don't know i just I couldn't get that why he'll always say that you're so bubbly and I just try to keep a happy spirit especially if you're not gonna have a friend or a lover or a talking stage that's gonna make you happy like you don't know how many people was just try to be disrespectful rude and like bro like over what you're not getting in return like I don't know you like that someone even want to get tested like I'm you like it's cool for you to ask questions about me but when it's time for me to ask what I want in a relationship you know, and I even told a person, I don't like you. It even got to the point where people just wanted me to snap on them. Like, you want to be rude to me? Okay, well, you have an ugly soul, and it makes you look ugly on the outside, and I don't like you. People would get so mad and be like, oh, you're rude. Like, okay. And when a manipulator, like, one thing my therapist taught me, when he was looking at the message, he's like, the, the person can't control you. That's the problem. That's why they keep coming back. Let them believe that you need them or anybody who betrayed you because God is going to bless you. I just hope I get so blessed, win a lottery, win a scratch off that I could just post here and there. So, yeah. Even teach me times when I'm without, like, I'm so grateful I, I buy food. I'm so grateful I can't buy food because it teaches me to appreciate things. That's why I, when I do have a dollar or I do give to people, I, I just give. I want God to have me have people, whether they're supporters, soul tribes, even a good lover where they want to be there for me and see my value and don't just look at my degree or security license and a certain amount of money I have saved because it'd be crazy like the people that be hating on you you can have more money saved than them and um and I learned a valuable lesson too like I would even help people that didn't even have a car I don't know. People just don't want to admit that they be lustful. 
Like, how are you worrying about a car? You got a kid you got to take care of. It was almost like this dude that was a tourist that kept trying to flirt with me. It was the first time I was homeless and I was working at Dollar Tree before I transferred to Amazon as a driver. He would be like, oh, I bought you food. I, I'm caring. Like, da 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 da. Are we going to ever sleep with each other? Got mad. It's already so sad. Like, when I see insecure men, they'll get so mad because they already put in their head they don't have a chance with you. And I feel like people who put that in their head, it's because they don't have good intentions for you. Because if you had good intentions, you already know that it will work out and you'll be confident. But when you don't, you're just going to be so focused on what... And it's like they will openly say it. And I did not feel safe. Putting gas in the car, that's going to go... Like, I don't even have siblings, people... You put gas, but I'm taking you where you have to go. Then I have to go back. And yeah, you're saving more money with the $5 you put in my tank or 10 or 20 because the ride, it'll be like $18. And then the Lyft driver is getting another ride that's going to pay them or Uber. There was even a time, guys, where people would try to make it seem like I'm so poor and I'll do Instacart, whatever. And, you know, I guess it was karma. Because one of my siblings was, like, stressing out about me. I'm like, we could do Instacart and stuff like that. But, you you know, you're going to have to put in some work to earn it. Because I already noticed if I just give it to them, they're not going to be appreciated. Just how this person was trying to talk to me and his siblings were comfortable to ask me for Wingstop. I know because I dealt with siblings like this where if I keep buying them what they want, they're not going to they're not gonna stop coming by it. And I hate when people try to, like, dismiss me. It's almost like this sh- Dave Chappelle said, like, is being dismissive is rude. You don't want to hear someone's viewpoint. You want to call them crazy. It's just rude. taught me this like about projection um people be like oh you trying to paint me as a bad person they know they're a bad person they know and how i met some of these people i was doing it here and i don't want to be around energies where they feel like they helping me like get the hell away from me I didn't do that when I saw you in your circumstances. When your car wasn't working, you didn't know how to make a money. Like, even a boogie, I felt him when he said, like, I used to Google how to make a million or how to make more money. And I come with ideas, and you came with nothing. All you came with to the, it was a hard wand. I just want to avoid things instead of figuring out. It's so easy to be lustful. It really is. want to dismiss you when you see that like you showed me your room was a mess you showed me that you didn't care about your hygiene or your financials so why are you getting mad when i point it out you don't want someone to tell you to do better you don't want to take accountability like you know it's almost like kevin gates said like i love you but i gotta let you go you're doing too much self-harm to yourself i can't can't tell you nothing and then you're trying to use against me like to find something to not like about me but you was dating people that didn't love you you was dating this man knowing he had a third party come on now that's not how you act innocent and holy like i take accountability and i'd be like yeah you know i did do that i learned from my mistake i'm go. oh you know what i never did that I, I'm, I'm always holy I, I was never a karmic no a lot of us been in a situation where someone cheated on you and you went right back to them. Man or woman. But that's what I got so far. I think it's me praying and staying connected to the universe. I feel like I'm very precious to God. Because he always has me around the right people. And that's the thing about society. There is people that's used it and they, they don't want to be known but the crazy thing is even their friends know that even that thumbnail like even my friend sean when he 
was my friend. There's a million Sean's, but anyway. He's like, yeah, your sisters look like she not happy. And she just jealous and how you could take up energy. Because I just wanted to feel good in that outfit. And it was Icon Swim. Like, they have the best swim line. And, like, her and my mom had this thing where they would try to make you feel so low, so poor. And one thing I used to tell my Scorpio friend, Mar, like, bro, like, it's like it's crazy when you making money in your business and you're doing good. Everybody got their hand out. But they want you to be doing some weird, distasteful stuff like be a hoe. It's like they love hating on you, love talking. Even a Capricorn, I used to annoy him. And he was so intelligent. Like, you know, he could tell when someone's hating on them. And you got to stay away from people like that. Because sometimes people just want you to be like that. Even if you're dealing with a man like that, who wants you to be a, a figment. Like, it's like almost my friend Lilo when she said in her reading, like, um, people who want you to be like, How dare you have self-love and self-respect to yourself because they can't use you. And I always tell people, as someone who's trying to, like, even with baby mamas, like, a man that says stuff like that to you or try to make you deem or look like an HOE, it's because they don't have respect for women. They want to use you and, t- and toss you to the waist style. And why would you want someone to, why would you want to date someone like that? Why would you want to talk to someone who is like, like, even someone who would, like, Bro, like, I don't know. I knew this person was... Ta- like, talking stage is not for me. You got to be only talking to me and that's it. Because this person was allowed to talk to whoever they want to talk to. And so was I. But I was just really focused on my money and my bread. And this person would talk about... Like, you ever have someone that will talk highly about everybody else? And then try to make you feel like, low? I bet you wish you had love or I bet you wish you was in a relationship with me or we could be together or stuff like that I know you want this I know you want that like I don't want nothing from you I don't even like you and then you don't want to take no accountability talking about communication but don't want to hear when you doing wrong thank you God thank you that she just ended you feel me and then people want to talk about oh you know I appreciate this person sleeping in the car with me and it's the person I said the name with that start with the S. But it was hot as fuck. Then I had to be aware of my surroundings because it was just like. You know, it's just just wow, you know. And people know they did that. That's a crazy thing. Imagine coming with pure intention and people just know they just fucking you over. They don't care. Then they wonder why society's so toxic. Because when people try to show they're a good person, it's like they got to cloak themselves or become a chameleon to the environment they're around. Because if you show your true genuine, they will fuck you over. And it's too much energy to be that fake. Like JT said, like, I just, she said she ready to be around her boyfriend, people that she could be herself. And she's like, even kicking it apart. Like, no, I don't want, I don't want to deal with that either. And I realized being real is getting you more farther than lying. Cause I kept going even when people was like, oh, I'm going to help you get a car. I'm going to help you do this. Sell false dreams. So when someone did came in my life saying they was going to help me get a car, help me do this, I didn't really uh, believe them because I already got disappointed by my parents. So it's a good and bad when it comes to childhood trauma. But sometimes I feel like huh, it does fuck up your relationships. But don't be trying to be a Bob the Builder or Fix It Felix. Fix it, Felix in the movie. I knew he was getting tired of Wreck It Ralph, where he's getting tired of his shit. And, you know, he's just tired. Even when somebody was like trying to be like, oh, why are you not having your life together? Studying me so hard. My own mom. Oh, why, why life went so fast? I'm like, I'm taking care of everybody. Bro, don't got his car together yet. He's saving up to fix it, which I appreciate because, you know, the tag to get it registered the insurance and then women don't want to help men but then they want to take from men don't make no fucking sense want him to stack a couple more racks so he could spend because he was going to spend a thousand with the insurance 
the 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 tag that's like 500 gone right there then the car gotta get fixed that's another 500 because it's been sitting there for a whole year didn't call nobody poor even when they would come to me and try to address it like you think i'm this i'm that i'm like no you're just stacking up even when my sister like taking them to dialysis take like bro I would even remember Tati Shin like you're gonna be blessed because I would just if I if I was being picked up I would like someone to drop me some first watch breakfast or do what they can or I kid you not I can't even tell y'all how deep it this rabbit hole fucking goes like on how wild shit is like even things that my grandma did that I feel like it affects the ripple effects of my grandma would do behaviors that was self harming and people would have to put up with it and I feel like my sister my mom copies that. And I don't want to be around that. Like, yeah, people want to be always um, ostracized that they're a good person. Yeah, you're a good person. But sometimes there's days where you just do the most fucked up things. You hating on somebody for trying, hating on somebody for, like, speaking down on a plan. Then you wonder why it's not prospering. You just speak on down on someone. The, the little bit of confidence they had it made them feel like they ain't going to be shit. Why would they want to be around that? Why would they be around that? I'm just saying. Even when people who become my enemy, they know they feel bad and they feel freaking shitty for the shit they did. And they get mad at me because I'm posting and talking about it, what they did. That don't make no sense. And they still want to be cool with me. And I don't even do that because sometimes I dealt with people that want to be cool with me. And then they will still show me that they don't fuck with me because I'm exposing what they do. It's okay. You don't want to heal. Baby, we live in an environment where there's some people who don't want to be healed. Do you know how many fucking elections we had that the, the president was evil they damn self? Golly. Or teachers that just want to be nasty or bullies. Like, you think I'm expecting you to change? And it's even the worst part. Like, for me... Baby, I want you to change for you. And you don't even want to do that for yourself. You think this behavior is going to be... Because every person I've seen, what I learned from 2024, from 2023 of June to 2024 of June, 2023 of June to 2024 of June, is that the devil don't reward people. They just tell them lies. Like, they're going to get away with this shit. People do magic and all that shit. It always backfire on the ass. Not just someone going to extreme lengths so you just could be without, no having no money or nothing like that. Like, damn. You gotta be mindful of people going to extreme lengths. I mean, extreme lengths. I just have faith that the video going to get viral to the point. I feel like a Lee Lee, where I could just buy my own stuff with my own YouTube money and be grateful. That's what I used to tell my, do uh, my doctor. His name was Dr. C. Like, you know, he was a good therapist. I just wanted to record, travel as my dream and become a reality like do makeup reviews i will even delete so much content i mean my sister story a 700 dollar laptop i worked so hard for I had to film more i was enjoying the editing three hours later i wasn't the best at it but y'all see that i'm trying being in that environment people will mentally break you down to have anxiety depression and so much more you don't want to be around that you could love your family. People going to hear this. They're going to be like, yeah, I could tell you love your family, but you got to choose you. Like, why would I t tolerate? That's even crazy. If people don't even get to know you. Why would I tolerate less? And I bought myself flowers. I bought myself Baccarat. I used to want this designer bag so bad. Still haven't used it. Still haven't touched it. This Christian Your bag. Use it right now and sell it to Rebag. But they're going to give me a thousand for it and sell it for three thousand because it's so brand new. Like, come on now. You got to be mindful of that. Even me and this mom talking about how 
so she said there's certain jobs she don't even work with fast food because there'll be men that'll be flirtatious make your job uncomfortable and the pay ain't where it's at and like tell her things i went through amazon and, and people telling me you go through this at fedex and i'm like they will eat you out like like i'm not saying like that like eat you alive like you know just because they look at you as fresh meat they don't really care about their marriage or vows like my friend my mom literally said florida's like so low vibrational i feel like it's the certain areas there's certain areas where it's just good it's so good And then they'll be big on talking about let's work as a team and family, but they're not doing nothing to contribute. Like, I try to give my mom her LLC. Then she tried to gaslight me. She wasn't ready to use her LLC. She don't want to work for herself. She wants someone to take care of her. And it's nothing wrong for the women that want a man to take care of her. But at least be fucking honest about it. Like, damn. Even try to stop me from giving my bro a PlayStation 5. Even a person I was dating is Scorpio so pressed want me to be concerned about me moving and like acting like I don't take care of my responsibility like are you going to help me dating me just to make his ex jealous like that just ridiculous and then once I saw that shit I just hanged up this is weird bro just weird as fuck and that's the crazy thing that runs through my mind. They know you was a good person. They knew you was cool. They knew you was nice. They knew you was kind. Fucking weird. Just weird. Scratching my damn right ear. It's just damn, a damn shame. I used to never want it. Like when I lost my first, like, like you know, like my my first virginity, all that stuff. Like, I just liked that person. It's almost like this girl who made his TikTok sound like, I always hate you because it's like, <laughs> like, and you still got love for that person where this person seeing you confident, loving yourself, taking care of yourself. And they just fucked it up so they could have this image of you battling your self esteem or struggling. Like, people could really be evil. And then they feel like they have to because someone has to be the devil in the story or the villain. Like, I really feel like you need to leave me alone. I feel like God be trying to show me. That's why I don't worry no more. And I used to pray for this for two years. Pray for breakthroughs. And I'm finally seeing it. Just being confident. Soaring like this dang butterfly. Like, just... He even used to know my granddad would always buy me flowers and take care of me. butterflies because they used to take me to this place to go see butterflies but that's what i got for you guys three week update there's even vlogs where i teach people how like the shower survive on the first time being homeless i don't really put content out like that but like um i feel like garages are great places to hide even luxury apartments like where there's high security because nobody would get in where you can sleep good and um might cut my hair I try to lock it. It didn't want to lock. I'm just going to have to cut it. And, um, car maintenance. Sometimes I just eat one meal a day. I'm not trying to eat so much. I only eat when I'm hungry. It's a little expensive sometimes. You can go to the gym, shower, work out there. I spend a lot of time in nature. I used to ask God like I wanted free time because I felt like every time I worked, I ain't had time for myself. And now I got all the time in the world, shit. But if I could overcome this and y'all could tell me y'all stories because I see y'all comments. Even people who tell me they let someone sleep on their couch, someone that vandalized their apartment, thought they could trust and like 
we all humans and we all going through the same things in life we even gotta let go of people that we call family because like sometimes god will have you i realize god will have me replay things and like it's like an alert to my mind like this is a warning if this person loved you why are they doing this to you if this person care for you and then they'll even try to be like because one thing about the pisces like people will hate on me and him because we always look out for each other and it doesn't matter who severed the relationship because we all know who it was but it's just like we all like it's just sometimes i feel like he like he knows i love him like as a as a friend but i just feel like he just even him like he get disturbed on how five by five how I, I i'm so kind like he don't want to talk about the apartment and how he lost himself and but i'm like you had joe you had me like do, you, do people do not understand when i stress this enough like do you not not understand how it feels to have someone there for you i mean they watch you struggle because i had people that watched me struggle and like didn't do nothing for someone to just to do a cute care package for someone to come there and want to give you money whether it's three hundred dollars four hundred dollars five hundred dollars give you money that's one thing i learned about life even my mom said death is inevitable we all have to go one day and i can't bring back people that we love and sometimes me and her will talk about it like how sometimes there's some people that will lose a loved one and it'll be so nasty to you make it seem like you don't care and i feel like that's the worst people to be around like because no matter what you do they're not gonna feel like you love them like no matter what you do you're you're gonna feel like they don't love you basically trying to say but that's what i got yeah we look out for each other but it's like people want to talk about the embarrassing things it's like bro everybody did something embarrassing hurtful to me but it's a difference when i keep seeing you doing it purposely and it's like god is giving me a way where i won't need nobody because like when they needed help they didn't even have to ask i, I just seen them in trouble it's even crazy sometimes i feel like some people want me just to leave them there and just let them figure it out on their own and i still intervene i still helped just being overly kind without even knowing because at that time i'm just thinking that's what friends good friends do that's what a good girlfriend do that's what a lover do that's what a a good family member do a good big sister do And I used to tell my sister, stop following the problem just because you see everybody else doing narcissistic things. And then when they do see you, they're not going to take accountability. They made you that way. And everybody's going to make you look like you're the problem. And now everybody want to act innocent, want to be like, I'm moving out and stuff like that. And like, it's just so fucking childish. Like, some people shouldn't become parents, some people shouldn't. <sighs> It's a whole fucking anthem. It's ridiculous. Even Tree was mad. He would just say, like, bro, like, what the fuck? I do not like how your mom's hand, like, what the fuck? See the important roles of having a dad and stuff like that. But it's life. I get to say I was here. I loved. I cared. And me and my mom friend, we gonna call her KK. Like, Kiki or whatever. We gonna say Kiki. We gonna call her Kate, Kate, because that's how her name start off. Like Kate, she's like he's really how you treat people, and me and her will even talk about you think it's because of what she's going through, and like even I'm scared. Like I had to watch somebody that I love got everything they want, didn't want to eat no more. My grandma saying it's something that my my uncle said to her. And ever since she said that, she was just going downhill. That's why I always treat people nice. I didn't even like when my, I see my sister pull my mom's hair out. Like, I'm like, if you keep acting like this, people are not going to like your behavior. People are not going to like to be around you. 
I even gave her a clip by Tony Childs. You remember when Tony Childs was being mean to everybody? Everybody. And she really felt like no one was going to miss her because you just keep being nasty. You got to understand, we all woke up in life. You think anybody woke up on life and say, hey, I want to struggle. I want God to give me a life of struggle. Sometimes I look at other stories where there's some people who was locked up, dealt with abusive family members in third world countries where the story where they was trying to escape and they never got their happy ending. They ended up getting killed or something bad happened. And you got the blessing to make your life better and you choose to do wrong? Man, I can't. I thank y'all for listening out to my story. It's just like, because sometimes I just shut up and I will let things go on for years and years and years. And then when you finally speak up, you're the problem. You're the bad guy because you want to tell somebody how, like, what? Like, I love when people say you're so kind, you'll be a good mom, you're good, um, you're good with kids. But it's just like, I can't fathom that. People will even try to have me blend in or be like, oh, see how I would get treated with my godmother being kind and stuff like that. But I'm not going to sit here and just try to pretend and be like them and be fake nice and manipulative and learn all them tactics. And then they're going to still turn on you. So regardless of the fact, I'm going to be my damn self. You're not going to make me be something that I'm not just so you could like me. I'm not eager to be liked by people. And I think that's why. And like people will just think like. I'm not nobody yes man like i would think oh if i just do this for this person it would like get them off my coattail a little bit you feel me no it didn't even get money to get people out of my face like no i made so much money that could go to myself and sometimes i could feel energy where it's like i feel like people know that and then there's like devilish ass people that will fuck up your car won't ever say that they just hate you have a good spirit they can't make you look like a bad person and think, oh, yeah, I fucked up this person's life and really don't believe God will come and save you and turn it around. So you already showed me who you worshiping and I don't want to be around the devil because the devil seeks out, destroy and kill. Because you're killing my patience, you're killing my kindness and I don't trust you. I don't trust you. And that's the thing about these devilish ass people. They they know you could trust them. I mean, they know. Ugh, I almost fucked it up. Hold on, because I'm driving. They know they could trust you, but you can't trust them. There you go. I'm done talking about it. And then people just want to be like, fuck it. Let it go. Don't talk about it. Don't bring it. Like, nah, bro. That's, that's crazy, bro. Just imagine how many people have stories of people fucking them over and they never said nothing. They talk about things that they didn't even heal from. I mean, people that came in your life flirting with you, saying they love you. And, um... Shit, my bad. Just came to toy with you. Make you feel even low. But they said they loved you. They said they care for you. Man. And some of y'all need to know that you haven't asked a, a, for a lie. You... You haven't been spoiled enough. You're so you're so used to the bare minimum or the little things, and sometimes people can get even mad about you took towards you. This is what my therapist explained. Where it's like you you just so grateful for all the little things, and you should have more. I had a friend that would get mad at me like that, and I'd be like, Yeah, but it's like I can't force people to give that to me. I can't. You know, I could ask, but it's like, I'm not trying to put that on people's coattails. There's some people that's going to never like you. They're just not. No matter how cool of a nice person you are, you got to know that. That's it. And if I can survive all this, I know God has a happy ending for me. My story don't end up like... My story don't end like this. It just don't. Shit. I gotta go.
look at it like a weird red flag when people get jealous of you having a good life. And what is the good life? Being stable, having a roof over your head, being loved by people that care for you. So people get fucking mad for you, mad at you. I used to tell my therapist, I used to felt crazy. Like, man, I feel like people just be trying to hurt me and know that I have a good life, but I'm so into the present because I can't see the future. Man, just be mindful, man. Because sometimes it's like that saying, people can see how special you are. They can see your energy. it's easy for me to be in a season where I have to ask for help and I'm usually always helping everybody it's weird it's weird Sagittarius God is just always so kind to me and so many others Imani CC like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna make it through it. I even had someone being rude, like, oh, do you know it's gonna get better? Or try to laugh and all types of stuff. That's why I don't feel no type of way for the hate comments because it's like you don't even get it. And it's not until you're in somebody's shoes or God put you through it, then you be like that. Like, I wouldn't even laugh at people who will be asking for people for money and I'll donate people might look at them greedy they don't even care and thinking I could tell someone vocalize my opinion and child they just um they got what they want you know some people feel like they gotta be toxic to get what they want and I feel like I just gotta be patient I just gotta trust God that he got me and it's like you gotta be careful of people trying to teach your life like a yo-yo and like I read the 48 power of the law of despise a free lunch cause even though I have some sisters and they help me there are some times where they, even some of my subscribers would say like they're not being a good person they're not wanting to change they're still engaging with toxic people, you know, and um, it's, it's just a, it's a shitty, shitty thing. I just don't want to feel like a yo-yo, like someone could just play with my life, because I feel like sometimes people treat you like that because their parents did that to them, and um, that's why I always tell people Mark 9 verse 23, Matthew 7 verse 8. It'll always get better. Just got to stay away from weird people. You got a choice in life. And don't ever feel bad. It's going to look rocky for a little minute, but then it's going to get better. JP and I would look at Carmen Cycle, Destiny Swap. He sent me a whole list. And it was like one that was relating to me because it's like every time I'm around certain people, that job, you've been there for two years, all of a sudden you're having a problem. All of a sudden things are getting chaotic, hectic. And I really am big on like watch the people that you call your friends, company, because sometimes people will try to help you and then they'll do disrespectful things. And make it seem like they're a good person but they're never gonna say the story of how they was being but it's like you gotta kind of get that as a no-brainer like people ain't gonna say they was being manipulative toxic causing problems they want to look innocent they want to look like they never caused anything so be mindful of that that's the most weirdest thing like people will shoot down my dream and it was crazy like mom or relationships everybody could rely on me 
But when I need them, I can't rely on them. And it's like, that's why I don't want to claim certain relationships. Even the thing my therapist would notice, like, people would get so mad. And they'll be like, um, like, worrying about your views or follows or how much money. And if you ever went through that, that's weird. Because them same people that's worrying about your money, like, there's some people that really want to show you how evil they are. And I feel like JT, like, I just know everything's going to work out because everything ended up working out for her. And, um, you know, I always tell God to bless me because, like, it's a sad world, but it's true. Like, I had a man yell at me, tell me, like, people really don't care. There's not many, a lot of people out there that care and appreciate the ones that do show up for you.